I'm Professor Indra Bezegra. I'm going to show you in this video developing a data flow diagram and a flow chart diagram with the same information uh, that we have. So the difference between a data flow diagram and flow chart diagram is the one that we have to look at. Data flow diagram is a graphical diagram that represents the data flow of a system. Flow chart diagram, on the other hand, is a graphical diagram that represents the sequence of steps to solve a problem. So the information in hand are shown as seven, uh, seven items here. The first one, uh, this is in relation to an online bookstore called Bookmark. Uh, the first item is customer completes a sales order for a textbook with bookmark where after pre-validating customer payment details, bookmark confirm to customer with the likely date of delivery. Number two, bookmark contact the supplier for the textbook to be sourced and confirm availability. Number three, bookmark receives a purchase order from supplier. Number four is supplier dispatch textbook directly to the customer and provide the tracking number. Bookmark uh, number five is bookmark pays the supplier. And six, tracking number shows the textbook is delivered to the customer. And uh, seven is customer is charged through the credit card and receive money. So let's look at how we can uh, develop uh, a data flow diagram first. So a data flow diagram can have different levels of details. Uh, the first one uh, is the most condensed level of details is called the context level diagram. But we can have um, data flow diagrams with uh, greater details. But Looking at the context level diagram, uh, it has the internal uh, information system or the internal entity. For that matter, the bookmark store is the, the focus here. Uh, that's the information system. And then the external entities. Uh, here, the external entities are uh, customer and supplier. Uh, what we do is then we looking at the activities that were undertaken then we can connect those activities uh, with uh, the information systems and the entities so in this instance the book was delivered directly from supplier to customer and then in relation to the bookstore and the supplier uh, supplier was paid and order was received from the supplier and tracking number was also received from the supplier. In relation to bookstore and the customer, uh, customer complete, completed the sales order and then finally uh, cash was received from the customer. Using the same information, now let's look at the flowchart diagram. So it's a sequence of events. Uh, what I have done is I've given numbers so that it can be related to the items uh, that uh, I have taken as a case example here uh, to draw up the flowchart diagram. So our starting point is a customer inquiry and then customer placed a, 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 a customer order. So that document, electronic document is shown there and then the customer database was updated with that information. And then the customer uh, data was checked for pre-authorized customer payment. So it's a decision point shown as a diamond. And then uh, because it was approved, the supplier book availability was checked, which is number two. And then the supplier database was updated. And then a purchase order was received from the supplier 
that's number three and when it was received the purchase journal which is uh, a, 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 da a database uh, and, and that was updated and supplier book was dispatched it's number four and then supplier uh, was paid uh, supplier was paid and supplier payment uh, is shown there and then uh, the bank details were updated so uh, the uh, data in relation to the bank uh, got updated and the tracking number was provided by the supplier that's number six uh, to the company and then uh, the book was delivered it was tracking number was used to check whether the book was delivered so the book was delivered and when the book was delivered uh, the, the sales transaction was completed the sales journal was updated so th that data store or the database was updated and then the, the customer was charged uh, on the credit card and the customer payment was received and the bank details or the bank data still is updated there as shown as number seven so that brings the customer from the customer inquiry to the customer payment uh, that shows the sequence of events from number one to number seven that brings us to the end of the video and thanks for watching